30 days as a tour pro. We are here on the first tee of the Australian Open on the DP World Tour. You guys said it couldn't be done. You guys said that this guy wasn't good enough to cut it on tour. Well, guess what? Who's laughing now? You are. You were right. Because I meet here this week. I wasn't good enough. But here we are. We're pumped. It's going to be a great week anyway. We're happy to be on the other side of the camera and uh, at the iconic, beautiful Australian Golf Club this week. It's going to be a ripper of a week. We're here with uh, Trav Smythe. Trav, welcome home, mate. Yeah, good to be here, mate. Thank you. Awesome. Have you ever snapped a golf club? Yes. Want to elaborate? Um, I remember one time I was playing golf with my dad and I threw my club at my bag and he didn't see me. And I, I was like, oh, I was freaking out. I was really young. And I remember putting the, the snap driver back in my bag and I was so afraid that he knew that I snapped my club. I pretended to trip over and then I snapped my driver and then he wasn't mad at me. I actually rate that. That's, I'll, that's I'll never, pretty good. I'll never forget that. Did you get away with it? I did. Great. How good? I want to say that's probably the only snap club that other than like around a tree. I've done, the first time I've done, I smashed my bag and then the next hole I went to get my driver out and snapped in half. Like three three wounds snapped yeah. down. I was like one dummy spit and I yeah. snapped like three clubs. All right, we, we got to do the rough report, but um, we don't have any golf balls, so we're trying to look pretty casual here. We're pretending like we're the ball attendants because we need one. It's a brand new Pro-V. We probably need six or seven. Three. Go, 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 go. We are here on the 18th hole. But guys, I think I might have just met my spirit animal. <laughs> he could have the best beard on site. I'm impressed with the logo. That is the logo. That is already pretty cool. Aussie beef, they match the sunnies. We are here with Mr. Uh, Nick Pugh. I caddy for Lucas Herbert. Luke. Got really cool shoes as well. So some would say I'm copying him uh, this week. What are we looking for out on the course here? Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a strange week this week. It's two golf courses to see, uh, neither of which I've seen before. Is that extra work for you, I'm guessing? It's a, a, yeah, it's a load of work. This is probably the best golf course I've seen in Australia. Really? Hands down. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm blown away by how good it is. And, and in particular, like, what are you doing when you walk in the course? You're just checking yardages, obviously Lucas's game in particular. Like most of the stuff I'm doing out here today, looking at greens and where you can and can't miss. So we use a system where we kind of rate around the greens, you know, from zero being pretty easy to a three being wet in the water hazard there, right of 18. So yeah, yeah. you're looking at where you can and can't miss stuff. Interesting. One, one question I always was wondering in terms of the strategy side of things is, is there like a plan B if Lucas doesn't have his A game? Because as we know, you're not always like on your games. If he's hitting it a certain way on that day, do you, do you cater to, to that strategy? So it's um, it's a pretty boring answer, but we, we tend to stick to a pretty similar game plan, whether he's playing great or not. Yeah. How do I get my beard like you in a few years? What do, what do I have to do? Any, any tips for a young pro? Leave it to grow, man. Just don't cut it. I mean, <laughs> mate, it could be the most two iconic beards on, on site this week. It's lovely to meet you. Thanks for you. Appreciate it. Good luck. That guy was awesome. Nick, Lucas Herbert, the caddy. What an interesting character. I kind of want to do a day in the life of Nick, the English bearded South Korean living caddy. We are out here at the Australian Open. It is game day. It's not practice rounds anymore. The pros are out there just letting it rip. We've got the all abilities playing. We've got the ladies and the men all on the one course. Very unique offering here this week at the Australian Open. So we're gonna go out and try and see some birdies, maybe some blow ups. We'll see how we go. I know we just said Nick Pugh might have the best beard on ground. I'm, I could be ranked number third because I just ran into my potential father, the lovely Chris. G'day boys, how are you going? Very well, thank you. Good to see you, mate. Uh, owner of Shorties, Monster Children. Uh, what are you doing out here this week, though? Today, I'm just behind the camera, more just for the, um, 
for the green staff. So I get here at four o'clock in the morning and I've been shooting a whole bunch of photos of the team. So I don't think anyone understands the amount of work that goes into it, which is incredible. And just to be, just to have a camera and no brief, just to walk around and shoot things, it's been a, been a good week. Mate, the course looks unbelievable. Uh, I just looked at Rob McIntyre's Instagram. He said it's the best condition golf course he's ever played and he obviously has done very well at Augusta. So uh, yeah, how's it looking out there? You just don't understand the work that goes into it. There's like sometimes there's 10 people in a bunker working, you know, to get it all ready. It's like it's good to see what the golf course does look amazing. I, um... More importantly, how uh, do I get a beard like yours? Any tips for me? Mate, this thing's been growing. Uh, last time I shaved when I had my daughter, she's 15. It's now starting to look really grey, which um, coming into Christmas, not such a fucking good thing when you've got a bit of, putting a bit of weight on too and looking with a grey beard. So get a few Santa Claus calls here and there. Mate, I'll come up to Shorty's and uh, sit on your lap. So this week, guys, very unique. We've got the All Abilities Championship. I've just watched a few of those guys. They are tearing the golf course up. It's very impressive to watch some of them. Uh, we've got the Ladies Women's Australian Open Championship and the Kirkwood Cup for the men's. A second ago, we had the, the Claret Jug here. And um, we did not steal that, but hopefully that is in a safe place. All right, boys, I think it's pretty obvious who are we out here to see today. How do you think he'll go today? Oh, he'll win it, mate. He'll win it. If they get rowdy, it should be good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, steady, cook. Let's go. <laughs> the most electrifying golfer on the planet right now, definitely in Australia, has just teed off and check out the crowd behind us. Things are heating up on the golf course. I was gonna say Kiriaku. 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 Okay. Okay, we're here with the lovely Steph Kiriaku. How'd I go? Yeah, that was good. That was good, thank Spot you. Um, how'd you go this morning? Tell us um, about your round. Good, I had four under today, pretty solid. Didn't hit it great, but hit it good enough to hold some nice putts and Missed the rain, which is good. I was going to say, you got very lucky. You get to do some practice. How good? I mean, I got the rest of the elbow off yeah. so I can go to the beach and do normal stuff. Yeah. Is it good to be back home? It is great to be back home. We're doing a little segment called the beef grill. The, what? the beef grill, as I'm okay. beef. beef grill. It's the grill. I'm grilling you. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few oh. questions, okay? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, the morning of an afternoon tea time, what, do, what does the morning look like for you? Breakfast, cooked by mum this week, which is okay. nice. And then always a coffee. Find a coffee place. Got my local barista this year. Where do you go? Uh, the Bay Bake House in Maroubra. That's uh, exactly what Trav Smythe just told me. I'm loyal to um, the Bay Bake House in Maroubra. Yeah, you got to get down there with Johnny. It's a Vietnamese bakery of all places. Okay. Probably teach that guy. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vietnamese guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I teach him. He's yeah. always telling me to come down, but he's I didn't know he had good coffee. coffee. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, best coffee in Sydney. Okay, he's getting a shout out for yeah. this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steph K. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kiriaku. Uh, thanks so much for joining the Beef Grill and uh, great to have you home. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. No worries. Thank you. Cheers, appreciate that. I'm here with the lovely Minji Lee, who I just met in the uh, cafe out of all places. Yep. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> um, do you have any superstitions? Well, I only use number one golf balls. Like, so the, on my ball, there's only ones. Okay. Uh, bucket list golf destination you haven't played yet? Uh, New Zealand. I'm going there next week. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my God. Maybe one day I'll get You've there. You've never been there? I've, I've been there once for New Zealand Open like ages back, but... All right, I can't wait. <laughs> I was going to ask for tips, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Minji Lee, thanks so much for your time. Uh, good luck the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mate, um, we're going to go and uh, get a few swings in. You keen? Yeah, I'm quite keen. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and guess your handicap. Well, you're my coach, so you should know. I've never really asked. I just oh. assumed you are off a high handicap. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. You've seen me swing. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to get an old club out of the shed here at the Australian Golf Club and we're going to pull people from the crowd and try and guess their handicaps. Here's the club we have. We've got a Titleist T200. It is a men's regular R300 shaft, so see how they go with it. 
Okay, we are here with the Kieran. The Kieran. I don't mind that. The setup was a little funky. Uh, six. That was pretty close, five. Sorry, my man. I, I, you didn't look like a good putter. What's your name, young man? Um, my name's Jack. Do you want to do a swing for us? Yeah, right, eh? I'm going to guess you're a... a 20 handicap. 30. 30? Or well, like 28. Mate, you got a lot of potential. Keep it up. Good job. We're here with... Uh, Joel. It was one of those like deceptive swings where you set up, I was like, oh, this is going to be rough. Made it work. I'm going to say a... 12. 10. You must be a very good putter. Tom. Mate, can we have a look at your golf swing? 15. Bang on. Yes. Oh, one. There we go. Pretty good. It's got potential though. You know what gave it away was the, with the heel raise. Yeah, yeah, old school. Are we here with Emma? You want to do a golf swing for us? I can try. You are a 45 handicap. I don't know what a handicap is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're here with the lovely Cassie Porter, one of my dear friends. Hello, how are you? Very well. How's the game feeling? Yeah, it's feeling good. I am super close to something good, so ready to, as Min says, ready to get out there and cook today. So Let's cook. I'm looking forward let's to cook. it. Yeah, yeah let's, let's cook. <laughs> um, what's your favourite karaoke song? Oh my gosh, Holy Grail. Definitely. What is that? Can you, can you sing that? Can I sing that? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely Have hard no. Okay. <laughs> the game plan today is just make a lot of birdies? In fact, yeah, my coach and I got a little secret bet, 12 birdies on the weekend, so see where that puts us. I like that, 12 like birdies, that yeah. Yeah, 12 birdies is good, right? It's like maths on the spot, but it's like one every... How well, many? with no birdies, that's 12 under, so yeah, okay. <laughs> good math. That should, that should get the job done. Uh, what juice you got there? Um, I don't know, it's some tropical concoction, hopefully birdie juice. Birdie juice, yeah, we birdie love that. Juice. We actually have a segment on my show, Birdie Juice, but we use... Um, Fireball. There's no fireball in that? Definitely no fireball in this. I would be on the floor if there was. <laughs> Maybe Sunday afternoon if you win, I'll be back here sure. and have a fireball oh with you. Oh, Thanks. Nice. Good see to see you. Yeah, have Bye. a good day. <laughs> Guys, what a week it's been here at the Australian Open. Big thank you to everyone that made this possible. Golf Australia for the media accreditation, all the players that took the time to uh, have a chat to us with a lot of fun, a lot of insight. And so big thank you to all the players that took part. And uh, it's been great seeing a lot of fans and some of my followers out here. Hope you enjoyed the week here at the Australian Open. We've camped here, there's people still chilling. The corporate tent has gone off. Completely exciting finish coming down on this 18th hole here. Uh, at the Australian Golf Club, what an amphitheatre. Um, it's just really cool to spend the week here and see how the pros go about their business. So, what a finish. Hope you enjoyed the vlog.